Hey Jeeva, it's Mark here. Just going to record a, a short video. I'm in Paynes Hill Park, uh, not too far away from where I live. It's about 10 minutes. I've been here before. Some of you might recognize the, the hermitage thing that I was in recording a video a few weeks back now. I can't exactly remember when, five, six weeks back, something like that. But anyway, that's by the by. Uh, it was a bit of a trek to get here, as you can probably tell from my voice. Quite some steep hills over there. Um, but I've got a couple of uh, mini sermons, I suppose, uh, you could say that I wanted to talk about today. So I want to read a little bit of scripture. This is going to be a very short video um, and just talk about it briefly. And just uh, I believe that it's going to be something good, something um, edifying and encouraging to hear from the word today. So it's in 1 Peter uh, chapter 5 and it is verses 6 through to 11. So hopefully uh, the sound is a bit better. I recorded a video yesterday and the sound was very, it wasn't so good and it was kind of similar distance. So hopefully this is better. If it's not, forgive me, you may have to just turn the volume up a little bit. But uh, yeah, 1 Peter uh, chapter 5, uh, verse 6 to 11. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be the glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. How about that for some truly wonderful scripture? And I just wanted to touch on a couple of points on this. Again, very short video, but I'm praying that it will be of a real comfort to you. So in verse 6, again, let's think about the key points of some of these verses here. Humble yourselves it is the Lord that is going to exalt you okay there's a lot of men out there and a lot of women as well that lift themselves up as a Christian we should be humble absolutely humble because it is the Lord that will exalt us and notice it says in due time okay think about that verse 7 so profound as well right casting all your care upon him not just some, not a little bit, not a few things here, not when you need him, not when you're just in hospital or you know, you're know you going for a new job or whatever it is, all your care, all your care. And these, these words in the Bible, such as all and may and so on and so forth, these are words that you really have to pay attention to, all your care. Very, very profound. Why? Um, for he careth for you, your Father in heaven, careth for you amen amen and here's our warning as well be sober be vigilant always be looking out keep an eye out on what's going on around you be aware of what the devil is up to because your adversary the devil he is your adversary as a roaring lion walketh about walketh about seeking whom he may devour and this is a warning to Christians, okay? And look at our exhortation here in verse 9. Whom resist, talking about the devil here, whom resist steadfast in the faith, amen, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. That is massively profound. The same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that in the world. If you meet a Christian that isn't struggling, that isn't suffering, that isn't constantly sort of fighting, so to speak, um, then I would be very concerned. I mean, we obviously all want to get to that point, okay? Um, but, you know, in our walk, it, it's always going to be it's a struggle. There's always going to be difficulty. Now, if a Christian isn't expressing that, I mean, I've, I've mentioned this in a number of my videos, I struggle and suffer tremendously. And I'm always trying to you know, improve my walk. I'm trying to get it right. I'm trying to live godly. I'm trying to walk 
um, in the spirit. I'm trying to do these things. It's a constant, constant battle. And you'll hear me talking about this often in my videos. And the Christians that I speak to say the same thing, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. And again, that's where we are right now. We are in the world and these things are gonna happen. It's just the way it is. But look at this though, as we finish here. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, amen, after that ye have suffered a while. It's just, there it is. And look at this though, look at this comfort here. Make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Amen, amen. That's what we're all going for. But again, after that ye have suffered a while. It's just going to happen. It's not nice. No one enjoys it. It's a struggle. It makes you question and doubt things all the time. It's very, very difficult, brothers and sisters. But again, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren in the world. Take comfort, brother or sister, if you're watching this, that I struggle with you. Absolutely. And that this brother over here struggles with you. And that one over there struggles with you. And this sister here is having this problem. It's to be expected. This is the way it is. This is the way it is. But, you know, we have this great promise as well. But at the end here, to him. Again, that's where our glory should be directed. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I pray that this... Uh, short little video the short encouragement here in this wonderful wonderful natural uh, area as i said <laughs> got this hermitage thing behind me but it is a beautiful place maybe you can hear uh when i'm not speaking you can hear the birds uh, chirping away it is lovely here and it's so good to just be out here to just be out in nature to just read the word to just talk about it as well it's just so good to be here so um, I pray that uh, the short video is encouraged and edified and blessed you in some way. Um, and thank you for watching. God bless and Godspeed.